I'm working on sub 1 gigahertz communication and I have received two CC1310 launchpads from Texas Instruments so I can test how they perform. We're going to use the out of box firmware so we don't have to do programming. They can play both the transmit and receive role. That's something that we can indicate when we plug them into the USB port and talk to them via a serial communication terminal. I have opened the device manager so once we plug in the two launch pads you will see them appear here as serial ports in that device manager. I'm then going to open a terminal program one for each of them and for this one I'm going to tell that it has to be a transmitter. I'm going to tell this one that it has to be a receiver and then we'll push traffic from one to the other and we can see the statistics from the receiver uh, on how many packages we get but also what the efficiency is or what the power is of our reception. Let's start with the transmitter. So first I'm going to plug it into the USB port. You will see that the port number appears here in the device uh, manager. It's port 31. I'm now opening a communication program and uh, select the serial communication. The port is 31, the boat speed of the port of my launchpad is 115200 and I can keep the data stop parity and flow control. If I now go to the session and say that it's serial, I can open the session. If I press the reset button of my launchpad, you will see that it engages in communication. If I press the right button, I get a menu and because this one is transmit, I have to navigate with the right button until I'm on the mode line. And then with the left button I can say that it has to be a transmit uh, launchpad. I'll prepare myself to start transmitting. I haven't pushed this button yet so it's not yet transmitting but uh, we are ready to do that. Let's now do number two. So I'll plug in the receiver. It appears as port 33. I'm opening a second terminal program and I do the same here. I say that it's communication channel 33 the same baud rate and then uh, make it a serial session and log in. I press the reset button and it will also engage in communication and the thing that I have to do different here is that when I go to the menu I don't want to make this a transmitter so I leave it as is and I'm already going to start the reception here so it's a receive mode and I start it hasn't received anything yet so let's now go to the transmitter and uh, see what's happening. So on the transmitter here, I am ready to start transmitting. So once I press this left button here, it should do the first batch of 10 packages. So let's try this. There we go. On the sending side, it has sent 10 packages. I have received them all and the strength is minus 14 dBm. If I press the send button a second time, you will see that we get an additional 10 packages sent and so on and so on. And that's what I wanted to show is how these launch pods work out of the box that you can do measurements with them straight away that you can see how they work. You could put one in the attic and one in the basement and see how good the reception is or you could go into your neighborhood and see how far you can go uh, with sub 1 gigahertz communication.